Today we're going to be taking you on a quick overview of the Leadership Ministries Worldwide app, uh, just to show you some of the features and the ways that you can use it. Uh, so we'll start here with navigating through the Bible and the outline and commentary windows. Uh, if you know the topic you uh, want to look for, you can just type it in here on the bar. <clears throat> you can also choose which of the sections of the app that you want to that you want to look through uh, or you can leave it all contents uh, you hit search and you can see it brings up uh, search results in scripture and also brings up our curated topic index which uh, is drawn straight from the uh, scripture index of the preachers outline and sermon Bible uh, so this is this is more of a keyword search and this is more uh, topics uh, for where, uh, what topics here. You've got prayerlessness. You've got uh, you've got an answer to Solomon's prayer here, and so uh, these are a little more curated than these are. This is just everywhere the the word prayer occurs in the Bible. Uh, so then you can you can scroll through here. You can see the uh, the places where these occur uh, you can click on the search results and see where where it occurs in the outline uh, and then when you click on one of these entries it will bring up the commentary for there for that section if you click on this little icon over here uh, this little three lines we call it the hamburger icon it will resize the windows to where you can look at all three at the same time and the app will sync the windows together so if you are in second chronicles for instance it will change it in the outline in the commentary windows if you scroll down here uh, it will change along with your scrolling you can also use these arrows to move sections or chapters mm -hmm. so right now we're in second book of chronicles chapter eight you can hit the arrow and it will go to chapter nine and the outline and commentary will also move. You can also do the same thing in the commentary. You can hit this and go to the next section and it will change in all these together. Uh, and then of course here on this side you've got all the topics and you can select uh, one of these links that will take, take you to the scripture and then that will change uh, these three windows over here. So that covers the uh, navigating the Bible um, another thing you can do if you you can also hit these arrow buttons and it will maximize the window and uh, get rid of the other two uh, and then uh, another thing you can do is to the default is split screen and if you want to make this full size you can hit this arrow over here and that will make the uh, Bible outline commentary side full screen and then you can hit the hamburger icon again and bring it all up and if that's all you're doing is browsing and reading then that's a a good way to do that um, so and then you can hit this uh, split screen icon and go back to uh, having the notes and lesson builder uh, on this side uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to create a lesson. Uh, just come over here to the blue plus icon and you hit that and that will bring up your lesson builder. Uh, you can title it whatever you want to title it. Uh, so for this example I'll just call it Psalms. Um, and over here you have your lesson date. Um, you can choose what uh, whatever date you want in here you can choose the date you created it or if you uh, if you want you can choose the date that you will preach on Psalms um, so however you want to do that and then over here you can uh, type in the uh, length of your message and then uh, down here in the editor you can start typing and then if you uh, if you decide that you want to include um, one of the psalms in your 
lesson, you can go over here, you can hit this icon right here. This is a copy icon, and this will pull over the entire uh, section here. So if you had um, whatever you have in this window here will get copied into the uh, lesson builder. Um, and then you can come down here. Um, if you hit this copy button, this will copy over the entire outline for Psalms. Um, so if you don't want the entire book, you can uh, copy paste just like you normally would on a computer. Uh, you can highlight and then right click, copy, and come over here and right click paste. And that will paste in uh, the Psalms 2 uh, outline. Um, and then if you want to include some of the Psalms commentary in your lesson, you can click on any of those and you've got the commentary and you can pick and choose. You can drop in all of the commentary with this button right here or you can right click, copy and paste this and put in just the pieces that you want. Uh, another thing you can do is um, you can create the lesson. So there's my lesson on the Psalms. And then if you want, you can view this. If you're preaching, if you're giving this uh, lesson at a Bible study, uh, you, can, you can read it from this screen. It's a little bit easier to read. Uh, if you have other people that you want to print it out and print copies for, you can press this button. This will send it to whatever printer you choose. And then if you want to just download this file of this, um, this lesson that you've made, you can download it. Uh, it'll be called that. You can rename it whatever you want. We'll leave the name. We'll hit save. Uh, or if you want to email it to somebody, you can email it. And then um, they will receive this message with an attached version of the lesson. Another useful feature of the OMW app is the ability to create notes. Uh, there's two ways to create notes. Uh, one is just clicking on the Bible uh, as you're browsing, uh, you're reading in a section of the, uh, of the scripture and you see where you want to make a note. Uh, so we'll choose here this, this verse 13. Uh, you just go to the front of the note and you see where every verse is blue and linked and you can click on that and then you can select from this pop-up menu here at the bottom there's a note option you click on note and that automatically makes a note from Ephesians 413 and you can see here instantly there was a note icon uh, added to the front of this Bible verse and you can see over here that this uh, note was automatically created here and linked to the uh, correct chapter and verse and then the verse itself was written down here in the editor. Now, if you if you feel like you need to uh, create, um, if you need to write some more about it, you can write about it. Um, if you want to change the chapter and verse, you can do that. Uh, there, it's it's just whatever you whatever you want to do. And then once you you can update the note or you can close it and it will save it. Um, it will save it here. In this um, in the notes section here and you can go back and look at it uh, and it will pull up the um, corresponding Bible section that it's in you can see here the notes there or you can uh, you, you want to add some more you want to you want to take something out you can also do that the last thing I have to show you is the icons here at the top. If you have any feedback for the app or run into anything that doesn't look right or doesn't work right, uh, if you'll come up here and just click on this flag icon and that will uh, allow you to leave us feedback uh, on the app um, if you have a question or comment or a bug report and then you can leave leave your um, uh, a short description of what, what it's doing. Uh, and then be sure to include the uh, platform that you're using, uh, whether it's web or mobile, uh, what operating system and what browser you're using. Uh, and we would greatly appreciate that. We are always trying to make this brand new app uh, work better and um, 
and trying to iron out those bugs. Uh, this this icon, of course, is the helps. Uh, this has frequently asked questions in the videos and the ones you're watching. Uh, this is the settings. This has your profile information in it. Um, if you need to, to uh, change anything, uh, this will uh, eventually have more languages. Uh, and then soon after the launch, we will have ESV uh, on the Bible versions. Uh, you can choose a different one. And then here uh, you can click and uh, receive more updates and information via email if you haven't already done so. Uh, and then save you can save those changes. This shopping cart icon will take you to the LMW online store where you can buy the uh, print version of the Preacher's Outline and Sermon Bible. Um, if, you, if you like to have both formats, some people do. Um, and then this will just take you back to the main screen with the Bible outline commentary and lesson builder. Uh, that's the end of this quick start tour. Uh, again, if you have any questions or concerns or feedback, please, uh, please tell us and, uh, uh, please watch the, the videos and the FAQs and, and, um, if you have any other trouble, um, hopefully this has made it simple and, uh, you now know how to, how to work the LMW app.